How's it going guys? Okay, I'm going to be doing some experiments and uh, I figured I should document these and actually film them because when I post my results I'm sure people will have questions as to... well, yeah, I'm sure they'll just have a lot of questions. So what I'm going to be doing is using two AA rechargeable batteries they're currently at 1.293 volts to recharge four AA rechargeable batteries um, and these are 1.235 volts. These are currently dead. I've um, discharged them through a, capa uh, through a resistor um, and I'll show a video of the fact that these drop down very quickly which means that they are discharged. Okay, what I'm going to be doing is just my typical Jew Thief. Everybody's seen it. What I'm going to be doing is coming off the one wire to a bridge rectifier which I've got here these are fast switching diodes okay just in a bridge um, configuration I'm going to be measuring my amperages in my amperages out and obviously my voltages I've got um, capacitors just to convert the high spikes capture them and convert them back to positive energy or at least try and help to <clears throat> and then I'll be discharged after I've charged these up for a couple of hours, depending on how I want to convict my test. I will then discharge them and uh, record the results as well. And I'll do this a couple of times back and forth and we'll see exactly what we're getting. This isn't anything new. People have done this before. I've just... I just want to experiment with the idea that Dini talks about is like you have one battery but you can basically, you know, even if you had a row of a hundred of them, you could charge that a hundred, those hundred with just that one. And that's what I want to be playing around and see what numbers I've got, have it set up, what resistances or anything like that I'm going to be using. Um, I'll shoot a video of that uh, before I start. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Here I'm going to show you that the four. AA batteries that I've got here, they are 2,700 milliamp hour batteries. They're identical from the same pack and they're in parallel, okay, so they give uh, um, a, a large capacitance here. Um, it's four times two, 2,700, okay. They're currently at 1.237 uh, volts. Now I've run them down over a few days so they should be evenly run down uh, just to show that they basically have nothing left in them they're just dead basically uh, I've got a um, 22 you can't see that but it's a 22 ohm resistor it's a 2 watt resistor here I might take a picture of it and uh, put it in between okay I'll connect it up Connect one side, connect the other, and you'll see that the voltage will pretty much instantly drop. Even a 22 ohm load, which is a pretty, pretty big load, but it's not too big. It gives around 700 milliamp, uh, 70 milliamps, sorry, on um, on a 1.5 volt battery. For 70 milliamps, you can see that these batteries are pretty much dead. They pretty much drop straight down. Okay. Okay. Here are the two in uh, parallel AA rechargeable batteries that I've got. You can see they're 1.293 volts right now. Uh, their capacitance is 200, 2,500 milliamp hours. I'll show you them in, an, in more detail later on. But just to show you, these are fully charged. Okay, so 1.23. And my 22 ohm resistor, I'll put them on load. And you can see they hold at 1.282. And at 22 ohms of resistance, these batteries should last a long time. And again, at 1.28 volts, you should get around 700, uh, 70 to 60 milliamps of current. Okay. 
Okay, so I'll be running my dual FIFA on 1.5 um, K resistance. I'll just show you this just to make sure it's accurate. You can see the multimeter is reading. It's on the uh, 2K resistance setting. It's uh, 1.5045 resistance, quite close. That, and then I'm going to have my ballast resistors which are just two 22 ohm resistors, you can't see it, I'll take a picture um, 3 watt resistors, they're in series so it will be 1.5k plus 44 ohms so 1.544 ohms, 1.550 ohms you could say okay okay, now we're about to start the test it is currently uh, 4.30. I will run this for six hours and I'll let it rest overnight because by six hours it should be 10.30. Okay, so all the readings are still set the same. There we go. I'll connect the negative. And there we go. Okay, we are drawing 20 milliamps. There's our drop. And we are putting in about 5 milliamps. And there's our gain so far. Okay. So I'll let this go for 6 hours. And um, probably make a video of me disconnecting it. And then um, uh, what our resting voltages are also. Okay, thank you.